Uh, but Posey Parker is here on the 20th. She's going to have an event, a gathering in a public place in, I think it's St. Patrick's Square in Auckland on, I'm pretty sure, the 20th. Um, but do not forget, this is just not about a visiting British feminist activist or, or women's activist. I don't think she calls herself a feminist. It's about all the women who were insulted, uh, assaulted and shouted down at Albert Park that day. And one group um, that is homegrown and Indigenous on this issue is uh, Speak Up for Women, and their spokesperson is Suzanne Levy. And she joins us now. Suzanne, how are you? Oh, I'm, I'm good, thanks. And, uh, yeah, I guess we are Indigenous, aren't we? I think we all are, in one way or another. We're all a bit homegrown. In our own little ways. Yeah. Hey, Suzanne, yeah. did you read Tim Murphy's piece yesterday? Uh, I did. Um, yeah, I, I did. I did read it. And while I was reading it, I was in the middle of organising the um, a, a little event, um, and having having issues with with venues and things. Um, and yeah, and I and I thought about the the media coverage and all of that kind of stuff. And the the balance is yeah, there's nothing's changed. Yeah. And it seemed to me to be a piece that was designed to encourage mainstream media to do it all again. Um, I just think that it's not fit for purpose, is it? What what we've got, like like I, I think about the um, some of the different some of the different complaints and and the you know the their responses and things, and in particular to do with the the balance the balance issue. You know, one of the or quite a few of the complaints that were made were on the balance, and of, basically both these organisations yeah. said, "Don't worry about balance." Well, well, they said that it that it that it was balanced, that you know that it was balanced because um, or it could have been, you know, we, we've had examples. I think um, there's something like one of the complaints cited that there were 50 articles over a nine day period around that Posey Parker visit, okay, yeah. including quite a few opinion, 15, I don't know, 18 opinion yeah. pieces or something like that. Um, nothing, nothing coming at it from the other. A angle at all? Yeah. No right of reply. You know, all sorts of accusations um, thrown at the at Posey Parker and a um, woman who who might or might not support her, or whatever. No right of reply. No chance to sort of you know. And we did offer opinion pieces and things on it. Yeah. Nothing was taken up. So that's over a, a nine nine day period. Yeah. Um, and the kind of answer was that well, you know. Nine days is not a sufficient time to have to be um, <laughs> to be able to judge that. Yeah. That, I mean, how long do they want? Yeah. <laughs> Suzanne, the one of the reasons I asked you on though, and, and I'll explain this to you this segue. People can laugh and say, "Oh, well, that don't care. I know what I think." But this sort of coverage and the atmosphere and the environment it creates does have real world effects in other parts of other people's and other groups' lives. And I want to move on to the problem you have been having with trying to get a venue in the Hutt Valley for a Speak Up for Women event. Yeah, yeah, and that's an, that's an issue we've been having long before Posey mm. Parker. That's, mm. a, that's something that sort of Speak Up for Women have struck over so the last couple So what's happening? Of Tell us what's going down there. <clears throat> oh, well, we got the venue. Um, so it, the event was last night. It was just a, it was a meeting um, with some Hutt South candidates to talk about uh, the relationship and sexuality mm -hmm. education curriculum in particular. Um, just just because there's a lot of a lot of concern, and we did it with a group called Resist Gender Education, who sort of specialise yeah. in that sort of aspect yeah. of gender ideology, and. Yeah, we, we booked this initially. We booked a school, uh, Patoni Central School, in in the hut, and you know they have a they're listed on the Hutt City Council website as having a hall available. Yeah. Um, we booked that, and um, some some activists found out about that, and sort of basically had that pitch. They they hounded the school. Um, yeah. They wrote to the the. Um, what the activists were they? And, and what group was it? Was that? Um, it was a, it's an, an individual um, who goes who who goes at us all the time. A guy mm. called Paul Fistel, mm -hmm. um, and he he likes to his sort of mo, if you like, is to um, basically say, well, you know, this group's going to have all of these protesters turn up, and how are they going to handle it? It's the thugs veto of, thing. Yeah, the thugs. Yeah. yeah, but the thugs veto without actually without having any thugs. It. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> so, 
Um, yeah, you don't need the thugs if it never happens, you see. You just need to say that the thugs were going to be there or, mm. or are going to be there. So um, we went for a Hutt City Council venue instead mm. um, and got sort of put through a few a few, a few hoops to, to get that around around safety, yeah. which they claim was to do with political events in general, which it may have been. Yeah, I, yeah. okay, no all right, but, but you did what yeah. you were asked. Um, yeah, we did what we were asked, and it was fine. It wasn't too too difficult. Yeah. I just sort of had to say, look, I've been to quite a few yeah. um, candidate events, and I haven't seen any security guards, or yeah. there hasn't yeah. really been any trouble. Um, so we got that was that was booked. Um, had a few they had a few more questions for us yesterday, and, and I think they tried to sort of um, mm. they thought that well they, well they rang yesterday and said, oh, you know, you haven't fulfilled your booking booking requirements and I was quite surprised and I said why and she said it was because we hadn't contacted the police um, and I think felt she sounded quite sort of smug that perhaps that was it. You know, she was going to be able to get us but unfortunately for her I had talked to the police four times so and had a job number so it was... So um, who was this <coughs> from the venue that rang you and tried to cancel you? Uh, that was somebody from the Hub City Council. What was um, their name? What was her name? Her name was Katie. Katie yeah. what? Do we know what her second name was? I don't know. Don't know Katie, Katie from the Hutt City Council tried to catch you out at the last moment and cancel your she event. She did try to catch